You know, I've only had sun. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Checkies. Welcome to the vlog. Today is actually a holiday, so I'm going to head over to the building, and I'm solo today. No one else is working today, so I'm going to get some quality time with my animals, do the bare minimum, and see if I can't get out of here at a decent time so I can enjoy the holiday a little bit. It's an absolutely gorgeous day, and I hope the start of your day is amazing, too. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. What do you say we get going? So like I mentioned, today is a holiday, so no one's working. So I'm just going to run through and kind of do a quick spot clean. You know, basically make sure everything is okay. But what I really want to do today is spend just a little bit of quality time with a few animals. You know, listen, I work with animals every single day. And every now and then I have to just go back and just spend time with them. Just because that's what I love doing. So I think I'm going to spend some time with Bella first. Then I'm going to mess with Sunrise and maybe even spend some time with RJ. So uh, what do you guys say? Is that okay with you? Uh, I just want to you know do the least amount of work today because I work all day every day and every now and then even I deserve a little bit of a break and just to have a little fun I'm gonna go ahead and start my day playing with Bella because I love her and uh, she gave me a real scare the other day trying to run away <laughs> hiding on me hey good morning Bella what you going what you doing Shelly hi honey hi you want to come out want to come out and play okay come on girl up you go up you go oh. There you go, girl. There you go, sweetie. Let's go ahead and feed her a couple strawberries and see what she has to do. You know, what's been really cool is that lately, like, I'll be sitting at my desk and she'll literally, like, climb up my leg and just climb onto my shoulder. <laughs> you know, just unprovoked. She just runs over. So, I'm going to see. Bella, you want a strawberry? Where are you going, girl? Come here. Bella. Do you want this, Bella? Do I <laughs> uh, 
I left Bella for one minute and now I can't find her again. Oh! <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Bella, you're such a crazy girl. What are you doing up on top of that chair, are you silly? <laughs> I tell you what, seriously, Bella is the best ever. I mean, just the interaction with her. I, you know, I always say reptiles are a different animal in the sense that it doesn't mean that their lack of emotion or, or affection that they show means that they're a bad animal in any way. You know, when you have a snake or most lizards, you know, they can tolerate being handled and sometimes even enjoy it a little bit. But most of them don't like show that kind of like interest in wanting to be handled or petted. And the rhino iguanas and a few other lizards have that kind of emotion where they literally seem to like the attention and like being around people. So uh, I tell you what, you know, just that interaction with Bella is beyond belief. Since I've had her, literally, it's been life changing when it comes to keeping reptiles. I mean, I just have never seen the level of intelligence and interaction from any reptile before. And, uh, and like I said, it's literally changed my whole idea of what reptiles are. Oh my gosh, I just love this girl so much. I'm gonna just let her run around and I'm gonna move on. You know what I need to do is I actually need to feed Snoop Frog. <laughs> oh, and now look at Bella. Hey, you uh, just chilling out on the desk, kid? What are you doing up there? I guess she's taking over the office now. Uh, what can you do? This is what happens when you let a prehistoric lizard run loose in your offices. I'm gonna go get Sunrise and just spend a little time with her up here, just letting her crawl around, just having a good time with her. You know, I'd like to just have days like this every now and then where literally I'm not thinking about work, I'm just thinking about animals. Which leads me to a question that I have for you guys. If you were in this building with tons of snakes and lizards and all the stuff, alligator, whatever, what would you do? Let me know down in the comment, what animal would you play with the most? I wanna know from you guys, so I'm gonna go get Sunrise. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. My girl, Sunrise. She is such a gorgeous girl. Like I said, I'm just going to take her upstairs and let her crawl around a little bit and just spend some quality time with her. You know, I've only had Sunrise. <laughs> She's squeezing pretty tight right now, just trying to hold on. It's amazing that even an animal that's her size can put such a squeeze on you. I tell you, when you get into a big snake, it's really a different thing, but uh, I've only had Sunrise for a few months now, and it's amazing how big she's gotten. I mean, when I got her, she was only like, you know, two and a half foot long. Now she's like almost five foot long. She's just eating like crazy, and I know that she's gonna be eight or nine foot before I know it. And boy, she puts a good hug on me, that's for sure. She is such a good animal. I want her to stay extremely dog tame, just the way she is right now. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh I cannot tell you guys I mean again I've been around snakes forever so I know that she's just hanging on but someone that doesn't know much about snakes when they apply this type of pressure you know people are probably panic thinking oh my god it's trying to strangle me it's not trying to choke me at all it's just trying to hang on because she doesn't want to fall and she you know wants to feel as comfortable as possible but I can tell you what these guys are all muscle and <laughs> even with being as experienced as I am it's putting quite a squeeze on my neck right now oh my gosh she She's such a good animal, so I'm just going to let her down and let her play around for a little bit. And this is the type of interaction I used to do with Sunshine all the time. Just so that she's really used to being kind of handled and touched and, and crawl around and, and, and realize that I'm not going to do her any harm. The more I can get her kind of habituated to this type of handling, the better she's going to be when she's around all those kids when she's 10 or 12 foot long and such a showstopper. <laughs> Thank you.
The last animal I want to spend a little quality time with today before I head out of here is RJ. Now RJ hasn't been out since I left for Indonesia, so it's been a couple weeks, and he's been getting a little bit huffy with me, so uh, wish me luck. Hopefully he'll be all right, but I think it's going to be really important to continue to work with him a lot so that he doesn't, you know, think that it's okay. Because the one thing about alligators is that they learn really quickly. So if they think that you're going to leave them alone because they're huffy, they will continue to be huffy. But if they know that you're going to take them out anyway, he's going to eventually say, all right, I'll just give in and just go back to my normal loving RJ way. So uh, let's do this. a little quality time with this guy you know you can see he's a little more squirmy than normal he's just not used to being handled as much and he's getting a little bit older now so he's thinking that he can dominate me a little bit so I just have to continue to work with him and tell him hey it's gonna be okay bud <laughs> but he's a completely fine animal I love him to death he's super super cool and uh, I just tell you what having a pet alligator like this is amazing and I can't imagine what he's gonna be like when he gets bigger when he's like 10 or 11 foot but again we're gonna have to make sure that he stays nice and tame so that we don't ever have any problems because at this size he can put a hurting on you but when he gets bigger it can be really bad so come on RJ again just a little quality time probably need to do this maybe four or five days a week get him used to being handled again it just doesn't take long you know for them to go all right I like being left alone RJ you're such a I love you so much buddy you're silly ah there you go bud Ugh. All right, so our All right. 